The November edition of The Best Times focuses on First Horizon National Corporation, named by AARP as one of the top 50 companies for workers over 50. We'll find out what they're doing right. And you'll meet chef and restaurateur Karen Blockman Carrier, who'll cook up some Thanksgiving tamales. Hello, I'm Chris Hardaway. Welcome to the November edition of The Best Times, a series that looks at life after 50. With Thanksgiving only a few days away, everyone is preparing for the annual feast. Later in the show, we'll offer up a special Thanksgiving recipe from the inventive mind of Karen Blockman Carrier. But first, our cover story tonight focuses on a company that has made a habit of putting its employees first. Just last month, First Horizon National Corporation, the parent company of First Tennessee Bank, was named to AARP's Best Employers for Workers Over 50 list. It was their seventh consecutive appearance on the list, and this year they were ranked second overall. If you're a worker over 50, you know how important it is these days to keep your job and how hard it can be with companies downsizing and outsourcing. And if you're over 50 and out of work, you know the pain and exasperation of trying to find a job in a shrinking marketplace. Many companies don't view age and experience as an asset, but some do. And the result is a winning workplace. When you walk across that stage, it doesn't matter if you was 18. I believe if I was 80, I would have felt just as great as I did that day. Dorothy Kimball realized a lifelong dream by earning her bachelor's degree at age 52. She had a lot of help and encouragement from family and friends and from her employer. Flexible scheduling allowed her to attend classes and First Tennessee's tuition reimbursement program helped pay for her degree. The reimbursement does help and the flexibility and the motivation is important. I'm 53. I feel really great working here. So it's a good feeling when you have someone to care for you. Dorothy is just one of the 27 percent of First Tennessee employees who are over 50. She says the company makes her feel valued there's no question that she's benefited from their policies on tuition reimbursement and flex time, which, I might add, are available to all employees, not just those over 50. So what else makes her company worthy of recognition? What is First Tennessee doing right? Well, First Horizon has been a consecutive winner for the past seven years, and it seems that every year they build upon what they've been doing to really meet the needs of older workers, whether it's around training, whether it's around flexible work opportunities, whether it's around expanding the opportunities even for their retirees. So it seems like we have found that every year not only do they build upon uh, the great um, policies and practices that they um, have established to meet the needs of older workers, but they've even expanded the number of people who take um, advantage of those opportunities. We have a very inclusive culture where we try to provide an environment, a work environment that's very positive to uh, a variety of employees, including older workers. It's, uh, it's very important to us to be able to retain good talent, attract and retain good talent. And so we've got a variety of uh, uh, compensation benefit programs that uh, help us do that. AARP cited several factors that make First Horizon a winning workplace. They praise their corporate culture, which offers benefits such as tuition reimbursement and continuing learning opportunities. 
Yes, it seems that this year, um, for instance, around training, 100% of their workforce um, was involved in at least 50 hours worth of training. This tells us that not only are younger workers taking advantage of training, but that they are making sure that their older workforce is taking advantage of training as well. Responding to the requests of employees, they offer paid parental leave for fathers as well as mothers. They have a vacation donation program that allows employees to donate or trade their vacation time with other workers. And they have a competitive package of financial and health benefits available to all employees working over 20 hours per week. They have a, an individual who is specific, specifically responsible for handling retiree relations. They actually have partnered um, with a senior organization in order to um, provide uh, temporary opportunities for their retired workforce to come back to First Horizon working on special projects or filling temporary assignments. Kim Simmons is the Retiree Relationship Manager for First Tennessee. I deal with our employees who are looking to retire. They're, they're thinking about retirement or they've actually made their decision. And so in a lot of instances, I actually sit down and do a one-on-one -on -one counseling session with them to talk about and to answer, uh, to educate them regarding the benefits that they have as or would be uh, privileged to as a retiree. First Tennessee actively recruits older workers through a partnership with Senior Services of Memphis. Well, we partner with them to make sure that they are one of our sourcing techniques that we use to ensure that we're getting candidates from an inclusion, inclusion perspective. So we want, again, as I mentioned earlier, the best candidate possible. And ensuring we get the best candidate possible is, is, is really partnering with Senior Services to say, hey, we have these opportunities because they're very flexible, because they're part-time opportunities. These are things that really individuals in that particular category very well may be looking for. This is Charles Wallace. A few years ago, he took early retirement from First Tennessee. But after a few months, he realized that retirement wasn't for him, and he decided to get back into the workplace. That's easier said than done for an over 50 worker. Charles went on job interviews and was told that he was overqualified. I said, oh, you mean I'm too old? Oh, no, no, can't say that. That's against the law, but I can say you're overqualified and you can't dispute that. I've never been told at First Tennessee I was overqualified. As a matter of fact, when I came back here, when I walked back in, people were greeting me coming in the door. Welcome back. As a recruiter, Tracy Robinson sees more and more resumes from over 50 workers trying to re-enter the marketplace. What we offer that I think helps in setting us apart that I'm extraordinarily proud of in, in our recruiting professionals is, is that we sit down. We don't just look at a resume, but if, if we sit down with you and we talk to you about your candidacy and you've applied for an opportunity and you meet the skill set, we want to help you present yourself in the best light to ensure we're getting the best talent. Age is not the barrier, talent is the key. And, and our culture, once they get here, they, they want to stay. When Ken Bottoms says age is not a barrier, he speaks from personal experience. He's 64 years old and was hired by First Tennessee just five years ago at age 59. Charles Wallace has another story to tell about his life and his relationship with First Tennessee. After a life-threatening experience, Charles and his wife, Glenda, decided to devote their lives to being foster parents. Over the last decade, they've cared for 30 children, some for only a day, one stayed for four years. In addition to their three biological children who are now grown, the Wallaces have adopted two sisters they fostered. Kirsten and Haley's biological parents were drug users and both girls have serious medical and emotional problems. But now, they have parents who care for them. My youngest daughter, Haley, uh, she is special needs. We got her when she was three days old. She did not wake up, this was in July, did not wake up until December. She could not hear. The drugs had affected the portion of the brain that interprets sound. Couldn't hear, couldn't talk. Her whole right side was paralyzed. Now, she's not paralyzed. She's been going to 
Oral School for the Deaf, and they have worked wonders with her. First Tennessee is one of only 10% of companies in the country that give employees adoption benefits. Families can receive up to $5,000 in reimbursement for adoption-related expenses. Employees also receive up to one week of paid parental leave. And the flexible work scheduling allows Charles the freedom to accompany Haley on her numerous doctor visits. He readily acknowledges the support that First Tennessee has given his family. It's very unique. It is a very people-oriented company. They have been supportive all the way through uh, the adoption, uh, the time off, everything else. I couldn't ask for anything more. In the final analysis, what can other companies learn from First Tennessee's example? In the interviews I did with management and employees at First Tennessee, one thing stood out to me. Unlike so many companies to whom the phrase, we put our employees first, is just a slogan, First Tennessee seems to take it to heart and puts action behind those words. Their commitment to an inclusive workplace means that older workers are welcomed and even actively recruited. Flexible work schedules and alternative work arrangements accommodate the needs of workers of all ages. They have a staff person dedicated to answering the needs of retirees. And then there are the intangibles. Most employees will never use the adoption benefit, but having that benefit makes employees feel better about their company. It humanizes First Tennessee. The net result is what Deborah Russell calls the halo effect. So there's a halo effect. Things that they do that meet the needs of older workers are really helping their entire workforce. And I think that's an important thing for employers to remember, that a lot of these policies and practices are not just specifically for older workers, though AARP is interested in knowing how 50 plus workers are affected by those policies and practices, but that they are ones that when you establish them, they really work out for all of your workforce. It's a good place for anybody to work, but definitely over 50.